So it's official. Tell me what happens next. I have to go to work. Um, I have uh, meetings this afternoon regarding a lot of the things that we've talked about, um, either with individual you know, council members or uh, my staff, whom I've met with a few times already. But it's getting down to business and starting to work on the priorities that we've set, which uh, customer service being number one, working on the infrastructure, number two, making sure we have the right processes and systems in place and the right people in place, and um, making sure our retail stores um, look like they ought to in the 21st century from a customer uh, service standpoint. So those are the priorities, at least initially, and that's what I'm headed off to do. For the business community out there, for the restaurants, um, special orders, regular orders, what's your message to them? We understand the issues with the special orders in particular. We knew that there were also issues with the regular orders in terms of deliver, uh, delivery accuracies and delivery times and shortages. And uh, we're obviously, that's not going to be acceptable not to provide a, a very, very high level of service in terms of uh, percentage of fill rate. Uh, when it comes to special orders, um, you know, we're going to continue to do everything we can to make sure that those are available. But we're going to work on a plan to make it, um, I think, more amenable or acceptable to um, not only the customer but uh, to, to the county to be able to handle it correctly. Uh, I think that's where some you know, great misunderstandings have occurred as to how effectively handle how to effectively handle special orders. And because we've not probably communicated well about that um, and put a good plan in place, that's what we need to focus on is to do that. What's the biggest challenge you face as you head over to the office today? Um, I think con convincing the county residents that there's great value in what the county provides and that there's misconceptions about what options and alternatives there are that are available that people might think are clearly better. Um, I think Montgomery County has only but the best interests of its residents in mind. And it has, and it, that's the way it's acted. Uh, it's my 35 years in this county. I've always been proud of the fact that my son went to some of the best public schools in the country, that we had some of the best amenities that existed anywhere in this country uh, by living in Montgomery County. And I know that when it comes to its departments, it uh, takes great pride in, in providing the best service in each and every one of its departments. And I think that uh, I've been asked to come in and ensure that uh, the Department of Liquor Control is one of those departments that um, not only is the county proud of, but the residents are proud of and see the great values that can be provided. Uh, that's not always been the case, and it's clearly not uh, all, all the case today, but my job is to make sure that it is. How hands-on are you going to be? Is the business community going to hear from you if there's problems? Absolutely. I'm personally very hands-on. I think in, in large part, uh, based on my past, my past career, particularly with Marriott, um, Marriott was a very, very hands-on business that was its culture and um, although in many cases in some of the businesses I operated there were international businesses 95% um, of my time was always spent in the field and that's how each of us who ran businesses for Marriott were known to be uh, very hands-on executives and uh, I fully intend to be in our stores all the time out with visiting um, our licensees I met with uh, several council members who are going to be setting up uh, meetings and um, groups of customers to sit down and talk about you know what ideas we should consider and put in place to make uh, customer service better for the county residents um, but that's that's always been a priority of mine uh, is on the customer service side and um, I'm always been very very hands-on in terms of being in my business <music>